Number 1. 2002 Commonwealth Games, Northern Ireland 2 pound. Four designs of the 2 pound were created in 2002 to commemorate the Commonwealth Games. The Northern Ireland version is the rarest, with only 485,500 minted. These sell for up to 44 pounds on eBay. Number 2. 2011 Edinburgh 1 pound. The rarest pound coin currently in circulation is the Edinburgh 1 pound. It was part of a series depicting the four capital cities of the UK, and is the only one pound coin, with a mintage below 1 million at 935,000. One sold for seven pounds on eBay in December. Number 3. 2009 Kew Gardens 50p. Only 210,000 of the Kew Gardens coins were put into circulation in 2009, fewer than other 50p coins. Before Christmas, a set of seven circulated Q Garden 50p coins, sold for £1,150 on eBay. In November, a single circulated coin sold for £215. Number 4. Undated 20p. Less than 250,000 20p coins, produced by the Royal Mint were struck with no year, in 2008 and 2009. It was down to a mistake in the minting process. The error coins are popular among collectors, and sell for up to £72 on eBay. Number 5. 2018 Alphabet 10p. In 2018, 26 coin designs were released, for each letter of the alphabet. In total, 220,000 of each went into circulation that year, followed by 84,000 in 2019. The most valuable one is a 2018 Z for Zebra. It sold for £19.99 on eBay recently. Selling coins on eBay. You are never guaranteed to make more than face value for your coins, but it could be worth a try. Before selling, it is worth checking what buyers have paid for similar ones recently. Do not be fooled by the outrageously high prices some sellers put on their coins in the hope that someone will pay. The sold listings section of the site will give you a more realistic idea of what you could make, but there is still no certainty. Set a minimum price that is higher, or at the very least equal, to the face value of the coin. Even if your coin sells on eBay for a high price, you cannot be sure that the buyer will cough up. In its terms, the auction website states, Bidders enter a legally binding contract to purchase an item, but there is no way to enforce this. The most eBay can do is, add a note to their account of the unpaid item, or block them from buying in future. Users do not need to put in valid bank or PayPal details, when they sign up to the site, in order to make a bid. If a bidder refuses to pay, then the only option for sellers, is to give second chance offers to other bidders, or relist the item. If you sell lots of coins, and make more than £1,000 a year in profit, you might need to pay tax, depending on your other earnings. How to sell elsewhere If you have a coin, you like to auction, you can contact an expert known as a numismatist. Members of the British Numismatic Trade Association usually deal in very old coins, but they might help you determine value. They will usually charge a fee or take a slice of the sale money. You will often have to visit them in person with the coin in order for them to evaluate its value.